Hi, this is Mariana, and welcome to Good Housekeeping Stitch Club. Every episode, we're going to be showing you how to make a new knit or crochet project from beginning to end. The Cobbles Cowl is such a great, easy beginner project that you'll be able to knit up in just a couple hours, and it's perfect for winter or gifting. All you need are two balls of Patton's Cobbles yarn and a 15 millimeter crochet hook. So grab your crochet hook and let's get crocheting. A couple little tips and tricks before we start. When you're grabbing your yarn and you're looking for the end with which to start, it's always going to be on the left side when you're looking at the logo you're gonna fish around and you'll find your knitting or crochet end. When you're starting your project, you're going to want to check which sort of knitting needle or crochet hook you should use. And on the back of the label, it will show you the gauge that's recommended. They're recommending a US 15 knitting needle and a 10 millimeter crochet hook. In our kit, it comes with the knitting needles, so you don't have to worry about that part. For this project, the pattern calls for a 15 millimeter crochet hook, which will just give us a loftier, bigger bobble. So for every crochet project, you're gonna start with a slip knot and then a foundation chain. To make a slip knot, you cross the yarn over itself and then pull the tail through to make a loop. Then you'll slip your crochet hook through the slip knot. Once you have your slip knot, you're going to create your foundation chain. In this pattern, we are going to chain 32. To create a foundation chain, you wrap your yarn from behind and over the hook, and then just pull that yarn through. And we'll, we'll chain up 32. You just loop over and pull it through. Loop over, pull it through. So now I have 32 loops in my foundation chain and you do not count the loop that is on your hook. As you work your crochet project, you're gonna wanna make sure that your tension isn't too tight, otherwise your finished scarf will be a little small. At this point, we're going to join our chain in the round. So you're gonna make sure that it is flat and not twisted. And you're going to join with a slip stitch, which just means you're gonna insert your hook into the first chain. Yarn over, pull your yarn through the first chain and pull it through the chain that's on your hook. And now you've joined in the round. So now that we've joined our chain in the round with a slip stitch, we're going to start our bobbles. To begin, you're going to chain two, one, two. Then you're going to yarn over, insert your hook into the first space, the first chain, pull through, yarn over, insert your hook, pull through, yarn over, insert your hook, pull through, and then you should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven loops on your hook. Then you're going to yarn over one last time and pull that yarn through all the loops on your hook. Easier said than done. <laughs> and there you have your first bobble. Then you're going to chain one to secure your bobble. And to create your second bobble, you skip the next chain and work into the third chain on your loop. And you're just going to yarn over, insert your hook, pull through, yarn over, insert your hook, pull through, yarn over, insert your hook, 
pull through, yarn over one last time, and pull through all the loops on your hook. And when you're creating these baubles, you're going to want to make sure that your tension is on the loose side so that you're able to easily pull your yarn through all those loops. Here's our tail, so you can see that this is where we joined our loop in the round. And this is the first two chains that we created, which kind of makes the edge of the cowl and where we will join again in the round when we get back to this point. So you can see that we have one, two, three, four bobbles with a space in between. So now we're at the point where we're going to make the last bobble in the first row. So we have 15 bobbles and we're going to make our 16th bobble. So you're going to chain stitch to secure that last bobble. And then we're going to join in the round by slip stitching through this space here. This is the first two chains that we made before creating the first bobble. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, and then pull through the loop that is on your hook, and that is a slip stitch to join in the round. Then you're going to chain two, one, two, and you're going to create your bobble in this space right here next to your chain. So you're going to yarn over, insert your hook in this space, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over one last time, and pull through all the loops left on your hook. Chain stitch to secure that bobble, and now you have the first bobble of the second row. And then we'll create another bobble in the next space and so on to create the second row. So now we're at the end of our second row and you can tell we've reached the beginning end again because you can see our tail here. And we're just going to work into this last space here. So again, yarn over, insert your hook, pull through, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over one last time and pull through all the loops on your hook, chain stitch to secure, and we have our second row. And here you'll be able to see how the bobbles offset each other to create this really cool textural cobble pattern. And we'll just keep working until we're done with two balls of yarn. So now we've created the last bobble in our second row and we're going to join in the round again. We're going to insert our hook into this space. This is the first two chains we created in the second row. So we'll just insert our hook into that space, yarn over, pull through, and then pull through again on the loop that's on your hook. And that's a slip stitch to join in the round. So now we're at the point where we have crocheted one, two, three, four rows, and I'm at the end of my yarn. So before I do the chain stitch to secure this last bobble, I'll take the yarn from my new ball of yarn and I'll yarn over with the original yarn and also my new yarn. And you'll just pull those both through together to secure this bobble and now you've joined your new ball of yarn. And then you'll continue in pattern, just creating another bobble into the next space 
until we use up this second ball of yarn. So now we have crocheted one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rounds. We're back to our starting point, you can tell, because we're back to where the tail is, where we made our first slip knot. And I only have a little bit left on my yarn. So we're going to end our scarf here. And we're just going to make another slip stitch. We're going to insert our hook just in the top of this last bobble of the previous round. We're going to yarn over, pull through, and then pull through the loop that's on your hook. Yarn over, pull through. We're gonna cut this tail. And we'll just pull through here. And we're done. So the last thing we have to do is just weave in these ends that we have. So on the top, you'll just kind of insert your hook, pull, the, pull your yarn through, pull it through a bobble. There's no hard, fast way to do this. Just kind of weave it in so that your yarn is secure. We'll go back up through this third bobble. And then we'll pull it a little bit, cut, and the end will disappear inside that bobble. We'll do it for our beginning tail here. Turn it inside out. And we'll find this is where we joined our new skein of yarn and we'll just do the same sort of thing. So now you have your finished cobbles cowl. It only takes a couple hours to make. Great for a beginner, super warm and Patents has so many lovely colors from which to choose. So I hope you try this project with us.